L look, if your escort isn't providing the services you paid for, you got to let them go. It's just bad business. Let it go, let it go. His dick's no good anymore. <laughs> What up my 10k ho biscuits? Because in case you haven't heard, I have 10,000 subscribers. How's it going? It's your girl Skitten. And I'm back with a part two of uh, some more Twitter shenanigans. Weekly advice with Skitten. What was that face? Am I winking? I don't know. I can't wink. I don't know if y'all can tell. So I'm always like trying, I think. I think I did it though. Not wearing my glasses because I have a glare. Y'all can't see my face. I don't like it. So probably gonna have to invest in some other ones. But for right now, you get my face in its full glory. And let's get started. Question six. I'm a sexy cougar. I'm 37, he's 26. We are good together except the one place we should be. In the bedroom. <laughs> I fear his drug use has destroyed his ability to get it up, and he won't take a Viagra. I hate to cut him off financially because of his issue, but I'm almost there. Help. Girl, if you don't take your money and find somebody new to be a sugar mama to, his job, right, as, as the young one in this relationship, is to make sure that you are pleased sexually, right? If he's not doing his job, he doesn't get paid. Just like normal people who don't do their jobs and then don't get paid. Cut him off and find somebody new or tell him, you know, he has to fix it or you will cut him off. Don't just cut him off. I mean, you know, you gotta let him know. But yeah, don't just let this homie friggin' freeload off of you and he's not giving you nothing in return. Like what, what is that? You can find plenty of ornamental 26 year olds, I'm sure, somewhere. I've, I've never had to look, but I'm sure they exist. Next question, question seven. My daughter was taken from me when I was 18. She's grown and we're working on our relationship now. She had a baby with a much older man and it has a wrinkled face and elderly mannerisms. I dislike it. How to tell her not to bring it around until it looks better? Well, first of all, when you talk to your daughter about her baby, you should probably not call them an it. Uh, it's pretty dehumanizing and rude. Yeah, kind of rude. Also, um, it's a baby. Babies sometimes have wrinkled faces. And I don't really know what you mean by an elderly man. It's a baby, so it doesn't have elderly mannerisms. It has baby mannerisms. I, this just doesn't even make sense. You, I guess you can tell her you're not comfortable, but, but basically just get over it. Be an adult. Be a grandparent. You are a grandparent. Who cares if your grandbaby's ugly? Sometimes people have ugly babies. It happens. Eventually the kid, you know, will be grown enough to talk and be actually entertaining since it can't be cute. But don't tell her not to bring her baby around, especially if y'all are trying to work on your relationship. That's probably the worst way to do it is to tell her, hey, I don't like your baby because your baby's ugly and looks like an old person. Although I'm wondering if it also smells like an old person because that would be. <clears throat> Next question. Girlfriend is bossy in bed, demands I say her name. She brags, I'm the best you've ever had, etc. Frustrated, I said, you're good, but your friend is better. So she's mad, and her friend won't text me back, and I'm about to get put out. What to do? Ha <laughs> ha! Congratulations, you played yourself. Yeah, you're stupid. Like, dunce cap on top of your head. Stupid. I'm so floored by the amount of dumb in this tweet, actually. Why are you frustrated that she wants you to say her name? Most people do. Why are you frustrated that she's bragging about being the best you've ever had? Because it's probably something you've told her before. She didn't just come up with that on her own. And also, so far as she knows, she's, you know, the only person that you're sleeping with right now. So that kind of makes her better than the other people you're not with. So there's no reason for you to be frustrated and you played yourself by one sleeping with her friend and telling her about it. How dumb can you be? And her, of course her friend isn't gonna text you back. Her friend is probably busy trying to salvage their friendship and is pissed that you blew her cover, which, you know, good on you for making it so that she knows who her real friends are. But also, yeah, you deserve to get put out, homie. You deserve to be done in that house with that relationship with nobody. 
Next time, keep your goddamn mouth shut and keep your penis out of people other than your girlfriend. Question nine. Went to hubby's job to surprise him on his birthday. He wasn't there. He didn't go to work that day, although he left my house like he was headed to work. We had a huge fight about it. Him. You don't need to know how I spend my birthday. Be glad I came home. Excuse the fuck out of me? If I am your wife, I better know where you're at, what you're doing, who you're with on your birthday, because if it's not me, who else is it going to be? Why wouldn't you want to celebrate with me? And why are you lying to me about whether or not you're going to work? What the fuck kind of bullshit is that? My advice, girl, just like I said before, cut him, burn his shit, and leave him. You're done. Fixes all your problems. Be glad I came home. Be glad my foot's not up your ass. Question 10. Certain things I thought were romantic at first are troubling now. Boyfriend dating two months screams my calls, drives my friends away, and yells at me if another man likes my Instagram. I tried to break up. He threatened to harm us. Advice. This is definitely on a more serious note than all the other things. If you are, if you suspect that you may or may, that you may be in an abusive relationship, it's really hard and it feels dangerous and it feels really bad and that's how your abuser wants you to feel, you definitely need to get out of that relationship um, by any means possible. Whether that means you need to call the police, whether that means you need to call family and friends to help get you out safely. Abusers definitely like to make sure that you feel isolated and alone and unsafe. They like to make sure that you know you don't have any friends so that you don't have anyone to turn to when things get really really bad. Um, they like to be your you know sole means of you know support, comfort, etc. Um, so stay safe, be really careful, but get yourself out of that relationship as soon as possible. Um, really really important to take care of yourself um especially given that you already tried to break up the relationship and he threatened to harm both you know himself and yourself if you gotta sneak out in the middle of the night while he's asleep do it you know what i mean like just be safe take care of yourself let's go ahead and scroll back up to question six and we'll see what twitter had to say about this sexy cougar Sounds like you know what to do. What's the point in being with a younger man for the excitement if it's going to be just like being with an impotent elder? Sis, I am 35. The only reason to fuck younger men is because of good dick and stamina. If you aren't getting that, why are you even giving him money? That's dumb. How are you getting played by a young boy? He just wants your money, not your honey. L look, if your escort isn't providing the services you paid for, you got to let them go. It's just bad business. Let it go, let it go. His dick's no good anymore. <laughs> Why do you let me do this? Why do you let me exist in this state? Why, what happened? Did you not hear what I just said? No, say it again. No, I'm not doing it again. Say it again. Nope, not doing it. You'll hear it. You laugh the first time. You'll hear it when you edit. I want to hear it too. Question seven. This is the one where this person keeps calling the, their grandbaby an it and says it looks old and ugly. That's fucked up. Stop insulting your grandchildren, man. You are an asshole. Straight up. <laughs> Can with the Mario picture. Can you believe this, nigga? I don't think telling your daughter to keep her old <laughs> This sounds so funny. I don't think telling your daughter to keep her old wrinkled baby away from you would be helpful to the relationship you're trying to work on. Hashtag true facts. And stop calling the baby it. That's your grandchild. People on Twitter are, are calling this person evil and awful. They're not liking this lady. They ain't got no advice for her. They're just telling her to stop being such a bitch, basically. Right? Question eight, this is the one where the dude played himself because his girlfriend is bossy in bed. LOL, you're the one here that got snarky in bed. Deal with the consequences. Call your mama. Go pack your shit. Yes, pack it up. Exactly what I said. Congratulations, you played yourself. Twitter wasn't as savage on this dude as I thought they would be though. Whoop, my favorite one. Cut him, burn him, leave him. Went to hubby's job, he wasn't there on his birthday. Said, you better be glad I came back. Two choices. 
Heads divorce and tails murder. Ah, with the Angela Bassett burn the shit in his car. Answer nine, I hope you know that you are sharing your husband. He told you be glad he came home. That means he didn't want to. You gotta work it out or get a divorce. That's it. Matt, he said what? With the knife and everything, yep. And question 10, now I really actually wanna see what these replies are so we can kinda talk about what like good advice is and what bad advice is for you know leaving an abusive relationship. Call the local domestic violence shelter. Be prepared to completely remove him from your life. Block him on social media. Change your number. Tell friends and family that you are not seeing him and you don't reconcile. You might have to move. Agreed. Yes. Down below, ma'am, get a restraining order. Change your number. Delete your social media. Alert your loved ones that you are in danger. Conceal and carry and don't be afraid to defend yourself. Absolutely. So all of these are good. Um, this person was really kind and included the National Domestic Violence Hotline. Ignore this person. This shit is nonsense. But yeah, first things first, what you do is you contact your friends and family, let them know that you're in danger, contact the police, let them know that you're in danger, um, and get yourself out of there as quickly as possible. Well, that ended on a serious note, but I hope that you have enjoyed this most recent installment of Weekly Advice with Skitten. I've definitely I've definitely uh, enjoyed shooting it. And uh, hey, Thanks for the 10K, guys. It's getting lit. Deuces.